Hey, welcome back to Main Irish Angling TV. Today we're going to look at a bait delivery device that seems to be the kind of the popular uh, version. For years, anglers, whether they be tench, bream or carp anglers, have had to put out their beds of bait um, via uh, ground bait balls. Then came a range of spods. Now, spodding became really, really popular. And basically what a spod is, it's a tube that has an open end. It has a float built in on the top end as you cast it. You can load it up with all your bits and goodies and you can cast it out as it impacts into the water. It turns upside down and empties and deposits your bait into the swim. Now, spods have inherent issues with them. They're a great delivery device, but over the years, you know, people have had to modify them slightly to stop as you cast, especially if you're punching a bit of a distance, it, to stop it actually um, bait falling out the back of the of, of the actual spod as you're casting has always been a bit of an issue and people have come up with different things to stop that happening. Along came a company called Spom. Spom basically re redesigned the wheel and what they brought out was a, a spod-like instrument that had none of the flaws and, uh, and answered a lot of the problems that anglers were having. What this is is an impact unit so the minute it is a pressure door here the minute it hits water it actually pops open. So basically what you can do is you can fill up your bait into the cavity here and when you then close it over it's become sealed it means nothing can be lost in flight. They come in numerous versions of size there's this one's a, a large one and um, they come in small, medium and large. I prefer the medium size myself. It's a smaller bait delivery, obviously, because it's only medium, but I find the accuracy and the delivery is just better for me. Um, but what happened was Fox International decided to license the SPOM, and uh, so under license, they've created their own version. Now, whilst it's under license, they could have called these SPOMs or a version of the SPOM, but they've decided to call these um, impact Fox Impact Spods. Uh, I don't know why they did that, but they have done anyway. But basically, this is a similar version to the original SPOM. It's a, again an impact design. So uh, it does have a couple of different features. Uh, obviously, the, the big one is the vein at the top is there for stability and buoyancy. So that if you were to get a crack off, this won't sink, unlike some of the original SPOMs used to. Um, and also the delivery system is completely different. It's completely impact again, similar to the SPOM. Um, and it's based on the SPOM design. But the capacity of bait that you can put in it is a lot more than the original SPOM by its design. And also because the actual impact part is sealed off from the actual bait itself in a better manner, it's meant to be used as a near, near enough as a scoop or a spoon, so you can actually go into your bucket, scoop it up, close over the door, and then cast. Um, the design is, is, is a very dinky one. It's quite a twist on the original SPOM. Uh, I've not used these, so I can't speak about them. They are going to be very, very popular. There's two sizes in the um, Impact Spod from Fox, and uh, they are in medium and large. Again, I find the mediums just a, a lot easier to handle on casting. I can find I can get the same distance as the large one. Yes, the, not as much bait goes out, but an extra few chuck outs. I, I find it a, a, just a much easier system to use. But that's a quick look at sort of the new kids on the block. This is the, as I said, the Fox Impact Spod Systems here in store in main Irish angling. So if you're into uh, your heavy baiting over the next few uh, months, because spring's on the way now, um, I'd check these out and uh, please do make a trip into store and have a look at the huge range of tackle in the store because it is gigantic. It's probably the biggest store in the country now with the most amount of stock. Um, so you really need to come into what I would call a fisherman's Aladdin's cave. Have a good nosy around and uh, make sure you bring plenty of money because you will leave with bags and bags of, of bits and pieces that you never thought you ever really needed for fishing. This is Jerry, this is MIA TV, and we'll see you in the next video.